Yo, what's good everybody? Mike Adams from BTO, b Training, and today I got another BTO breakdown for you guys. I appreciate the support I've been getting so far. I got a, quite a few suggestions now, like, um, got Calvin Ridley lined up. I'm excited to do that one. Sammy Watkins, um, I think I got a Michael Thomas one too. So keep commenting, keep DMing me, send me clips, whatever, you know, keep telling me um, who you guys want to see next, and I will get it done for you. So this one was suggested by my boy, um, Anthony. Shout out to Anthony. He wanted to see Megatron, which is a, a legend, all time great. I think Megatron is easily be like a top three all time receiver. He was 6'5", he could run like a 4'3". You could throw the ball in any kind of vicinity with him and he's gonna catch it. He was ridiculous. Um, he was really a matchup nightmare for pretty much anybody. And back then, in his kind of era, like every db was kind of like 5'11 5'10 like you know now it's like everybody's kind of like 6'3 you know 6'2 6'3 at least six foot like everybody's kind of like long and lanky but back then there was a lot more shorter guys you know like Darrell Rivas, he was like 5'10 so this is a real matchup nightmare for pretty much any db in the league right now so that's what made him so great and he was just a freak of nature so let's get into this and let's break him down all right, so for this first clip, I'm gonna show you guys um, kind of like back shoulder, how to do a back shoulder pass, how to catch him. So again, what made Calvin Johnson so great was he used his body. He was 6'5", he was huge. He used his body very well. He uses his body as a shield. So I'm gonna hit record and show you guys this first clip right here. I'm gonna put it in slow motion, sorry, slow motion. Throws the ball, great back shoulder and bounds and everything. Alright, so we're gonna watch it again. So it's just close up to it. Throws the ball, back shoulder catch and bounds. And Alright, so let's run that back. So I want you guys to notice something really right here, right? So he throws the ball. Look at the timing of when Calvin actually goes up for the ball. Now, it's hard to see the ball because it's a little blurry, but Calvin goes for the ball. He reaches out for it kind of late, like really late. like. And when you do that, when you show late hands or late body language, when you're catching the back shoulder pass, it, it kind of it doesn't allow the DB to really react to you. And when he, and just him being Calvin Johnson is like, he's bigger than him. And like Calvin Johnson can jump out the gym too. So it's like, this DB has literally no chance of getting the ball at all. So you see where he's at right now, you see where Calvin's at. Because he has no time to react and he can't jump with Calvin anyways either too. So it's easy catch for Calvin. Look right here. He shields the body, he shields the ball away from the receiver too. So let's go back to three. All right. Throws it. Boom. Look at where he catches that. And look where DB's at. So he's shielding the ball away from him. Again, for, again, for that back shoulder. So it's a little twirl around catch. Get two feet in. And it's a completion so let's watch okay so for our next clip we're going to show you guys like kind of a jump ball and this is another thing that calvin did really good and you know consistently double team didn't matter triple team um calvin was always able to just go up and get it but there's kind of a technique to kind of jump balls and it's all about really positioning if you, now if you know anything about basketball you watch basketball you know about like boxing out and like rebounding it's the same kind of concept you have to have good inside position to be able to for better your chances to catch the ball and again just Calvin just being a big physical receiver it came probably a little bit more easier for him because again he's 6'5 and the dudes are not 6'5 and can't jump as high as him so let's watch this clip here record watch this clip right here Ball up is one on one, never a good sign. Catch, Teddy. Right. So he throws 
the ball is one on one, which is a great opportunity for him. But look at where Calvin is right now. He's already he's already kind of in front of him, and he's already kind of shielding him off from the ball. So there's literally no physical way this DB can get him. Now, if he does anything, he can literally do is like hold his arm or grab his arm down. But if he does that, that's a flag. So you know that's pass interference, and Calvin's going to get the yards anyway. Right, it just won't be on his stats, but catch right here. Literally nothing you can do. You can't jump with him. You can't. He's too big. The DB is on his back. He had the inside leverage and everything. And it's, it's an easy catch. Touchdown. All right, so let's show another clip of jump balls. All right, so let's watch this clip right here. Another deep ball situation. Now this time, this is like his famous catch over the Cowboys double team, almost almost triple team. I would count it as a triple team just to say it is, but um, it's still a crazy catch. He has two guys draped all over him, but he still comes down to catch. Catches it right here, just snags it. Great hands, easy. But let's watch this this close up right here though. Yeah, so just high points the ball really well as well. Right here, look at this. Have you watched basketball? This looks exactly like somebody trying to get a rebound, right? So he's getting fighting for that inside leverage, and look at where he is and look where the DB's at. Now again, he cannot jump with Calvin Johnson because Calvin's now in front of him. Look at the body position, high points the ball and comes down with it. And the guy even hits him in the head. That's a catch. But look at the inside, fighting for inside position, right? Goes up and there's no way he can do it. No way the DB can get to the ball. All right, so here's for our last clip, our route running clip. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how he beat press coverage for one, and how he restacks and protects his shoulder, I mean, protects his chest, and restacks in front of the DB, and how helpless the DB is when you do that, when you perform these things perfectly, when you be technically sound in that way, you literally, there's literally nothing the DB can do once you restack and get in front of him. It, you basically won the route, okay? So, let's watch this right here. Okay, so I'm gonna hit record and so right here, it's a press situation. Um, it's kind of blurry. I'm sorry, I can't do anything about the quality, but it's a press situation. Brent Grimes is trying to press Megatron, so let's see what Megatron does right here. And why was this route so successful? So, again, press situation, right? First thing right here is Megatron protects his chest. So when you don't protect your chest and DB has access to that and that press, hits you, stabs you right in the chest, he slows you down, makes you kind of jerk back, slows route, time, route timing off and everything. So you don't want that. So you have to be able to get skinny, dip that shoulder, and just how you see how Megatron's body language is, down like he has that shoulder dip down and he's also shedding so he sheds off Frank Grimes right here and he restacks so when you restack you have to get back on top or get back in front of the receiver so again think of it as you're running like a straight line but the DB is going to be right in front of you so you go around him but you got to get back on that straight line once you get back on top there's literally nothing he can do so watch right here he's on top Brent Grimes is just trailing him, which, unless you are super fast and you can recover really well, that's not a great technique. A trail technique is never really, a, I don't wanna say never, but not a really great technique if you're not the fastest DB. Now, if you're running like a 4-2, 4-3, you're straight. <laughs> but um, but right here, when he doesn't even have hands on him or anything, you see a separation, maybe trying to hit that cut, 
to the sideline, bends it down a little bit because of the safety comes in and catch. So that's a perfect, this is perfect technique right here. So let's watch it just one more time. Sheds it, restacks, get in front. Brent Grimes is helpless. Alright, so that was BTO Breakdown Megatron. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, we got another bunch of receivers lined up next. And I'll catch y'all next time. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and everything. Help my channel grow. Continue to watch these videos. I appreciate the support I've been getting so far. But peace.